Freelancer Academy series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to master time within your agency. We'll be going through five different tips and tricks about how you can better make use of the time and your time management within your agency business to help you grow your agency faster and onboard more clients quicker. So before we get started today, please let me know that you can hear me okay, that you can see the slide deck on the um, on the screen, there should be a chat box that you can use. And uh, I've I've just let the kind of start time run over a couple minutes. I hope you don't mind. I noticed that um, the attendee numbers were fairly fairly low at the moment, so I think the invites, like the follow up invites, just went out a couple minutes ago. Um, so I'm expecting a few more people to come through. I'm not going to hang around for too long though before jumping into things because I don't want to um, I don't want to waste any of your time. I want to get straight into the kind of key key learnings and uh, and most important stuff. So let's uh, let's jump into things. Bear with me for two seconds and we will uh, we will get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to master time in your agency. Five ultimate hacks. That is um, that is the title of today's the title of today's webinar. That's what we're going to be talking about. And in terms of the agenda and the key points that we're going to go through today, so we'll be talking about how to set priorities for your time across the agency. Five ways to manage your working hours more effectively. And then we'll discuss a couple of time-saving tools and resources that you can make use of. And then, as always, at the end of today's webinar, we will spend a little bit of time um, doing some, some Q&A. So before we jump into things, I'll be really keen to find out. I can already see a couple of familiar names in the participants section. Um, but please let me know if this is the first time you've been if this is the first time you've been on one of these webinars as part of the Promo Republic Agency and Freelancer Academy series, just drop a Drop a yes in the in the chat box if this is your first time, and if you've been here before, then um, just say regular like Todd has done. Todd, it's good to see you here again. I know you're here pretty much every week that we do these webinars, which is um, which is awesome. Good to connect with you again. It looks like we have a few a few regulars. Let's see if we have anyone else. Okay, so we have Cecilia also who is here for the first time. Awesome. A few other people typing away. Chris is here for the first time too. Okay, great. So um, those of you who haven't been on these webinars before, who haven't seen me before, my name is Dylan Hay and like many of you here, I am also an agency owner. So I don't actually work for Promo Republic on a full-time basis. You can think of me as more of a, a brand ambassador. My, my main business is my, is my agency, so we manage PPC campaigns, so Google Ads and Facebook Ads campaigns, and uh, landing page design and creation for other SaaS and technology businesses similar to Promo Republic. And then aside from that, after spending some time focusing on building out my personal brand, launching my podcast, etc., speaking at a few different events, I also um, put together a lot of content, so different webinars, YouTube videos, um, guides, etc. And um, as a result of that, manage some one-to-one -one coaching relationships with people. I have a group coaching program that I went through. So I love to support and guide other agency owners, other entrepreneurs, helping them build out their businesses and, and turn them into successful agencies and businesses. And uh, at the end of last year, or kind of midpoint of last year, Promo Republic launched an agency-specific version of their platform. So you'll hear me mention that a couple of times on today's webinar. But they launched an agency-specific version of their platform, which is absolutely incredible, by the way. As I said, we'll talk about that again a bit later on. Um, but when they launched that, the team approached me and asked me if I was able to support them with um, helping position them as the leader and the authority in the space for education around agency owners. They really wanted to invest a lot of time and resources into being the leading place to go to for providing support for other agency owners. And this webinar series is part of a wider range of initiatives that we undertake. So it's all kind of housed under the Agency and Freelancer Academy. We do these webinars on a weekly basis currently. They were bi-weekly, they're back to weekly at the moment. And we also once every few months put together a big online summit and event for you guys. And last summit we had I think it was 16 speakers from lots of other leading agencies and online businesses split over two days talking about um, like marketing tips, tricks, trends, as well as um, as well as also 
as well as also covering how you can kind of deliver better for your clients too. So we put together these online summits and events. You'll notice on the agency and freelancer, if you go to the Promo Republic website in the blog, there's a specific agency section. So there's lots of other resources and guides there, as well as the Facebook community that we do have with around about 500 members at the moment. So if you just search for agency and freelancer academy, you will find that. So that's a little bit about the agency and freelancer academy, why we're here on this webinar today. Um, who I am and as I said these webinars are completely kind of value led and value driven trying to support you guys today it's talking about time management uh, there will also be an option or some options to learn a bit more about the Promo Republic agency specific solution if you did want to do that and I will I will talk about that in a second so um, I'll show you a couple of points like key points from the agency specific solution and how it may help you and help your business out but if you do want to find out more there will be a, a button that will appear on the screen a couple of times throughout today's webinar. And um, that button will give you the option to actually schedule a call with a member of the Promo Republic team so that you can find out a bit more about the agency solution and how Promo Republic could help you grow your agency and build better relationships with your clients. Anyone that schedules a call using that link, and you'll also be offered a special discount on the price of the agency solution just, for, just by using that link, just for people on this webinar today. So you have a special discount. You'll also be entered into the chance to win a like one-to-one -one consulting call with myself if you go on to become a paid customer of Promo Republics. And um, you'll also be given a load of other goodies as well. So the first eight webinars that we did in this series were kind of real pillar pieces of content. And you'll be given all of those slide decks, all of the recordings, all of my notes that I used to put together those webinars. Um, you'll also get access to a resources sheet which gives you, I believe, 50 or 60 different tools and suggestions that can help you grow your business and a few other bits and pieces too. So if at any point throughout today's webinar you think it sounds interesting, you'd like to find out more about the agency solution or you have any questions or you want to get your hands on those resources, um, there will be a button that will pop up. Usually that is limited to, I think, five people can schedule calls per, per webinar. So if you do have just a slight interest, want to learn more, um, make sure you make use of that when we um, when we show that on the screen a couple of times today because after five calls have been booked, I'm pretty sure it kind of cuts off there. Okay, so before we get into the content for today's webinar, there is just one more thing that I want to mention. So as part of this commitment to agency owners and freelancers helping you grow your businesses, right now Premier Republic are actually running a, um, a really large survey in order to put together a really valuable resource around the state of marketing agencies in 2019. So we're hoping to survey, I believe, over a thousand marketing agencies and freelancer businesses. And um, once we've surveyed all of you, we'll be putting together a really in-depth, interesting study which will potentially help you overcome some challenges within your business, find more, find out more information about kind of what niches are working for others, what ones aren't, uh, pricing, tools, suggestions, insights, etc. And anyone who, anyone who actually takes the time to fill in that survey will only take you three or four minutes. Anyone who takes the time to complete that survey will also be entered into a draw to win one year uh, free annual subscription to the Promo Republic Agency solution. So um, if you do have the time, please go ahead and complete that survey. There's a lot in it for you. As I said, you may win a free, free year subscription and you'll also be the first one of the first people to be notified once the report is put together. So if you do want to take part in that survey, I've just put the link in the chat box. Can you just let me know that you can see that link? Okay, I just want to double check before we before we move on. If someone could just let me know that the link has appeared and it's working. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Karen, Zahid, and Todd. I appreciate that. So yeah, if you want to be entered into a chance to win agency solution for free for a year, go ahead and complete that survey. I think there's going to be some really interesting insights that we'll take away from that. I'm not sure exactly when the um, the report will be completed. I'm assuming maybe the next summit that we do, uh, we could kind of announce and launch this report then, but, but we'll see. So before we get into the kind of um, actionable time management tips, first first and foremost, it's important to talk about priorities and, and how to set priorities as an, as an agency owner. Um, if you could just let me know using that chat box, what kind of kind of size are your agencies at the moment? Like how many how many employees do you have? And if it's just yourself, then please please don't be don't be afraid to share that either. That's totally fine. There's no problems. We, I know we have varying kind of degree of 
of agency sizes here. I know on last week's webinar we had a few agencies that were 40, 50 people and plenty of um, plenty of solos as well. It looks like today almost all of you are individuals, which is interesting. So I can see Dave says solo with contractors too. Uh, uh, many of you using contractors and freelancers to help fill on your work, or those of you that said solo, are you? It's just you and um, and no external support. Okay, so using VAs, using contractors, with contractors. Okay, cool. It's also important to remember that the size of the agency, like not everybody wants to grow a huge agency with full-time employees, right? For some people, contractors and freelancers is the best way to go. It gives you a lot more flexibility sometimes, freedom, especially with location. Um, I, I spent a year, just over a year, working for a remote business too. And right now, my agency, we also don't have any like full-time employees. We're using a number of uh, a number of contractors as well. So that that doesn't matter too much. I was just interested to kind of get a balance and see and see where we're at with the with the audience today. So if you are like solo operators using contractors, I know many of you will or understand this kind of slide that I've put on the screen here. Right, there are so many different tasks that you can be completing and working on and thinking about I put a few examples here on the on the slide deck of different things that could make up your kind of day to day or your your key tasks and your key elements and um, I could have kept going for ages and ages but I, I just wanted to keep it fairly simple but there's so many different things so you could be doing all this kind of stuff um, so how do you decide where to focus because of course all of these are important to the to the kind of the growth and the the scaling of your of your agency business or of your of your freelance business, right? These are all tasks that are often equally as important. You want to be working on all of them and getting them all done. So how do you know where to focus your attention and how to kind of not only how to set your focus, but how to decide what you're going to spend the um, the time on, right? This is a question that. I come up against a lot. We have all these ideas for the, all these ideas for the business, different things that we um, that we want to test, and different things that we could be working on. So how how do you prioritize those tasks? How, how are you prioritizing tasks at the moment? I'd be really interested to hear in the chat box. I know that's a fairly long question, so don't feel like you have to type away everything. I like to keep these webinars very interactive for those people who are kind of here for the here for the first time. I'd be keen to see if anyone has any different kind of methods of deciding where to focus their time because we're going to go into something in a second but let's see if um, if anyone has anything to share okay so Dave says due date value of client very important of course I can see we have a few other people typing away so we can continue now I was um, reading a blog post by by Hub, by HubSpot um, earlier on today or was it yesterday it was today earlier on this afternoon and um, this blog post by HubSpot was all about setting priorities as an agency owner and these are what HubSpot said the top five priorities should be for every single agency owner and I'm definitely not saying there is a right or a wrong answer to what your priorities should be as an agency owner and I'm definitely not saying I 100% agree with these priorities here either. I totally think your priorities vary depending on where you're at as an agency and what your main focus is right now but it was interesting to me that the number one thing they said was setting the direction of your agency for your clients and for your employees, owning and living the culture that you want to build, being in charge of finding and hiring the right people, allocating resources and managing growth. They're saying these are, should be the five things that you're thinking about all the time and prioritizing above everything else, which makes sense to a point. Now for me personally, I think priorities vary depending on where you're at. So for, for us and our business right now, the kind of three things that come to mind for me that are really, really top of mind and really, really important is first of all, our new, like we're, we're rebranding the agency and we're launching a new website and a new brand. So the website for me right now is actually a really big kind of priority and focus. If there are any tasks that come up related to the website, I want to make sure I get those done as quickly as possible or at the right time um, so that we can continue to push this forward because I know that's going to have an impact on our on our business. The second thing is current client relationships. I'm putting a lot of attention onto those right now 
Um, we, of course, every agency goes through this where you won't be able to retain all of your clients. You'll lose some at some points. And I'm really starting to see the value and how important managing current client relationships is. And that's my second core focus right now. And the third one is bringing on new business and starting to continue to scale this agency that we're that we're running. Now, those all three of those weren't my priority, I say, three months ago. Like, the website wasn't a priority of mine three months ago. I wasn't thinking about current client relationships, to be honest with you. Of course, I was thinking about new business, though. So I think it really depends on where you're at, what kind of size you are, um, what your vision is for the business, and where you want to go next. But I think the most important thing when you're deciding how to set priorities, you have to ask yourself this one very, very simple and straightforward question and be very honest with yourself. Like, what actions and tasks can you do that are going to drive your agency forward the most at this given time? And those should begin as being your priorities. So I know a number of you said due dates is the first thing that you're focusing on and then the value of clients. So, of course, this is really important because you need to deliver on the work when you said you're going to deliver on it. Um, so those sound like decisions that you've thought about, okay, these are the actions that are going to drive us forward. But sometimes those might also just be the actions that will keep you stagnant. So also think about what additional actions can you take that will help you grow and, and scale. And these should be like priority actions to make. And I see Zahid says the hiring is a huge thing. Currently looking for a reliable outsourcer slash contractor. Definitely. I made mistakes with bringing on outsourcers, contractors that didn't work. Um, I found good contractors. It's, it's an up and down thing. I think it like hiring a contractor initially seemed easier than a full-time person, right? Because there's less commitment on their end and you can be a lot more flexible with who and, and how you hire. Um, but I could imagine that um, a full-time person will be a lot more reliable, right? Because they're your number, they're, you are their number one focus. But that's an interesting conversation and maybe something that we could do in a separate webinar is like hiring strategies and, and tips and tricks. But let's get into five different kind of tips and things that I think you could implement and you could bring into your business um, to help yourself manage your hours more effectively. So one really important thing to talk about here too is that I'm not a believer in uh, I'm not a believer in having to work like 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I don't necessarily always believe that it's beneficial to be hard at, or quote unquote hard at work all the time or being in the office or in your workspace from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. I'm more into the idea and the notion of like getting focused work done. It doesn't matter if I spend four hours or eight, 10, 12, 14 hours working, if I can get the same amount done or a more focused output in, let's say, six hours than 12 hours, then I, I don't want to be working 12 hours just for the sake of it. And that's something that's really important to consider from, from my perspective. And some of these tips will take that into account, but also help support with that. Of course, there's a time and a place. Sometimes you need to put in put in the hours if you really want to grow the business, but I think it's more about being intelligent with how you how you manage your time. And to be fully transparent, I'm also trying to improve my, not only my time management, but how I allocate my time better, because that's something that I haven't been the strongest on in the past, but I have a number of good strategies that I'm, I'm working on at the moment. So the first one, this is something that I've actually only really started to implement very, very recently, and um, it's still not 100% kind of a, a routine of mine. I'm not um, I'm not sticking to it every single day right now, but it's something that um, is definitely beneficial or has been beneficial for me. I don't know. Do any of you do this currently? Do any of you theme out your theme out your list? I'm interested to see if anyone else has tried this because a couple people recommended this to me and um, and that's why I wanted to start with this. So Todd says that's what he does. I call them changing hats. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so a few of you have tried this and are trying this. Now, the concept, of course, is very, very simple, right? Give each day of the week a theme and spend each day working on that theme. <clears throat> now, as I said, um, a common objection around that and the objection that I had around this was having too many other things to do that come up randomly. So I can't just focus on one theme each and every single day, right? And um, the thing is, you don't have to stick to the theme 100% of the day. You can still do other things on those themed days. Like you can still do sales calls if you have time set aside for them. You can still go and look on Facebook if, if that's how you want to spend your time. Like there's other things 
that you can um, that you can do with your time during those days. But when you're not doing that stuff that's important, those maybe slight distractions that come up, that's when you want to focus on um, focus on the theme of the day and stick to that theme. So um, for a lot of people that I've read about this is they kind of theme their tasks for a few hours. So for example, their theme of the day, they work on that theme from, let's say, to midday. And then everything else in the afternoon can be working on whatever pops up or like bonus or some people call bonus tasks, etc. So this is something that I've um, I've started to do. I can see some mentioned. Uh, let's see who was it that said that. Cecilia says she schedules work blocks into the calendar. So work blocks is similar but different. So uh, I have work blocks in my day too, which we'll which we'll talk about. Um, but theming is like sticking to a core area each day rather than just a, a work block of focus time. So this might be interesting for some of you to try and test out. Others maybe not. I know the kind of it, it varies. Not all time management tips are going to work for, for everyone. And that's why I wanted to collate kind of my own as well as some other people's in here. So the second one, this is something that I spent a lot of time on trying to learn and develop towards the start of the start of this year. And that's figuring out not only your ideal working time, but the ideal times and routines for for you. So you're likely familiar with the concept of your golden hours, right? The time of the day where you're at your most focused, you're most motivated, you can just smash through the items on your to-do list and you don't feel like you're getting stuck. Now, some of you probably already think you have a handle on what time of day it is for you. You might think you're an early bird or a night owl, or whatever it may be. Now, me personally, I discovered that I usually get my most focused work done and complete in the morning. So this is when I'm less distracted, I have the most energy, the most focus, and I just find it easier to do my creative tasks in and my more administrative tasks here too. So what I did very recently a few months ago, not even a few months ago, probably about a month ago, was now that I had this data and I knew this, I decided to block off I use Calendly, which we'll talk about later on. That's where all my sales calls get scheduled and everything like that. I decided to block off all of the mornings every single day so that I can't be booked onto any calls in the mornings. Of course, I'll make kind of changes to that if I really, really need to. Like this morning at 8 a.m., I had a call with a team member because it needed to it needed to happen. But I block off all calls until 12 so that my flow doesn't get interrupted. And kind of a short story to share about this. One of our clients, actually, uh, I met the CEO last Friday in London, and um, he runs six different businesses. Very, very successful CEO. And I asked him how he manages his time. And he actually, like, not everyone has to get up super early. I know that seems to be glorified a lot at the moment. But he gets up at 4 a.m., and he has a really focused work block between 4.30 and 8 a.m. in the morning. That's when he gets everything that needs to be done done with no distractions and responds to all his emails, does all the other stuff. And then he heads to the office and the rest of his day is more kind of firefighting, fixing problems, working on what comes in. So um, I really recommend doing some experimenting and trying to find out when your ideal time is in terms of when you feel like you have the most energy or when you feel like you can get through your work best. And some ways that you can identify that, you can maybe try using potentially some time tracking tools and check what parts of the day you get the most work complete. But more often than anything else, it's just honestly being very honest and checking in with yourself in terms of your own personal accountability. And as Todd says, he actually has two different time phases that work well for him. And it doesn't just have to be one time window, right? So that's a really interesting point too to, to take into consider consideration. But being aware of that is something that I think is very, very powerful and just using that to your advantage, like listening to yourself and using that to your advantage. Um, you're not working for somebody else anymore, so you don't need to be at your desk from nine to five and really stuck rigidly to that. You want to be more productive with your time and more focused with your time. So try and identify those kind of time windows or time slots that work the best for you. Okay, now the third one, this is something that I found very difficult, but now I'm very, very good at this, and that's learning to say no and limit distractions. So I had my podcast, my I have my YouTube channel, my personal brand, all that kind of stuff. And frequently I get messages from people asking if they can pick my brain or have a virtual coffee or have a Zoom call for five or ten minutes or 
ask for some advice. How many of you get messages like that asking to uh, asking to pick your brain or talk to you about some ideas or um, jump on a quick call, go for a coffee? I'm sure many of you many of you get those, right? And before I would always say yes to all of these, but I started to realize and learn that when it comes to organizing your own time, the most important word is actually just a very polite note. You don't have to be rude with this, right? There's no no hard feelings. No one's going to get angry with you if you say no to to these kind of questions or these these requests. And as as Todd says, um, he has shiny object syndrome, very very bad, and and that happens, right? Like we all we all go through, or a lot of us go through periods like that. But I think from learning to say no, you'll become um, much more focused with your work time. You'll become a better manager if you have a team, a better agency owner. You just need to really start to understand and, and think about um, what the what is going to happen if you keep saying yes to these requests and whether or not that's actually going to help you and impact your business or if it's just going to impact somebody else's. Now, of course, you don't always want to say no. Like, for example, uh, example somebody said, Zahid said, clients call him for random advice and then 40 minutes later they're still talking. Like, you might want to give those clients the advice, but you don't need it to be 40 minutes. You can take control of that and limit that limit that time, right? And I think once you then learn to start saying no, you can then get much better at setting your your priorities. And as I said, I used to take these kind of calls all of the time and speak to everyone who responded to our lead generation messaging without even, like, even if I knew they weren't a good fit to work with us, I would still have a discovery call with them and hope that we could sell something to them. And it's just not a good not a good use of time. Now, one way you can combat this, if any of you have seen our previous webinars or any of previous content, uh, one of the other agency owners and kind of influencers in the space that we work with sometimes is a guy called Gavin Bell. He runs a Facebook ads agency and speaks about social media marketing. We've done a few videos together. And he he talks a lot and told me and shared with us in the past, actually, when he came on and did a webinar about an idea called a power hour. I don't know if any of you have set that up or are running that, but Every time someone makes one of those requests to Gavin, he now says that's totally fine. He's happy to to exchange some advice or um, or have his brain picked or whatever it might be. Uh, here is a here is a link to purchase a, a one hour consulting call. He calls it a power hour call, and um, it's like a it's not a huge cost, but it also makes it worthwhile for him. It's a good way of kind of pre qualifying people, and you'll notice that many of those people who make those requests then won't take up the call, which is good because it means you're not going to waste your time. But those that do take up the call, you're going to get paid for it, which is fantastic, and it shows their commitment. So other things might come off the back of that. So Todd says that um, that he introduced that, and about 30% of people take you up on it. So that's awesome. So that's some additional revenue coming into the business too, and a and a good way to um, to have more qualified more qualified conversations with uh, with potential clients or even just support other people within the space, which is awesome. So it's good to hear that, Todd. It's good to see you're seeing success with that. Okay, so tip number four. Now, I know a lot of you said you're currently using contractors and um, outsourced employees, so I'm sure you'll be aware of this. But the fourth tip is to just automate and delegate whenever possible. So how many of you are doing social media marketing Content creation for clients. Like, what are your what are your agency's service offerings? I'd be interested to interested to see that. If you're doing social media marketing, give us um maybe say yes in the chat box or something like that. Okay. So we have lots of people that are doing social media management. Some of you, it's not your primary offering. Some of you, it is, which is fine. Okay. And I'm assuming a lot of you are using, that are doing social media management, of course, you'll be using tools to help support you with that, right? So are any of you, some of you might be using Promo Republic. What other tools are you using? Maybe Buffer, Hootsuite, Me, Edgar, Social Bee. I'd be interested to, um, to see. So one thing that I try and do within our business is automate, as much as I can, or delegate when possible, so that I have more time for for other tasks that are maybe more important or more focused towards revenue generation for for the business. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I think this is going to be a good segue actually to show those of you who to show those of you who 
are doing social media management and aren't using Promo Republic. I think this could be a good opportunity to just quickly jump in and show you a couple of the really cool and interesting things that you can do with the agency specific version of Promo Republic. I'm not going to do like a full scale demo or anything like that, so don't worry. We'll just go in for a couple of minutes if the screen sharing works out okay. And then after that, we'll get on to the fifth point as well as then a section about some time saving tools and resources and then the Q&A that we'll jump into. Because I think, I know some of you have seen this before, but I think some of you will also find this very valuable, especially those of you who said you're using, for example, Buffer and Hootsuite. No, I actually, I actually used to work for Hootsuite a couple of years ago too, so I, I, know, I know these tools very, very well. Uh, I'm just going to start the screen sharing, so bear with me for a couple seconds whilst I, whilst I load this up. Have any of you heard about, I know obviously you've all heard about Promo Republic because you're here, how many of you have looked into the agency specific solution or, um, or know anything about the differences between kind of typical and agency Promo Republic? I'd be interested to see if any of you have, have explored this and please let me know once you can see the screen as well. I know Todd definitely has because he's been on these webinars quite a few times now, Todd, so sorry if you're seeing stuff that you've seen before. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. You guys can see the screen, which is great. So when we start talking about what can we delegate, what can we outsource, what can we automate, there's a few other examples I'll talk about later on with automation and how powerful that can be. But of course, one of the ways that you know is when you're managing multiple client social media accounts, if you were to go into all the social channels natively, it would take you forever, right? But how about content creation? How can you speed up that process, kind of semi-automate that process. Now, Promo Republic has a fantastic way of supporting you to do that. I'm sure some of you are currently using tools like Canva or Adobe Spark to create content and then you're downloading it, going into your scheduling tool, uploading it there. How many of you are doing that? How many of you are using tools like that to, to support your content creation? Yep, so Zahid says he is and I'm sure many of you will be doing too. And I know at the time it doesn't seem like a, a lot of time that you're spending doing that, but imagine if you're, I don't know, doing three or four social posts a day, and um, and that is maybe three or four social posts a day, right? So let's say you're doing it five days a week, 15 posts a week per client. If you have 10 clients, 150 posts per week that you need to create. Now doing that in Canva, or Adobe Spark, and then downloading it to your computer, uploading it to your scheduling call, tool can take a lot of time. And one of the great things that you can do in Premier Republic is actually just do this all natively here within within the platform or within the tool. And the best thing about this as well is we have this post ideas library. So if you see this, this is where we collate over 100,000 different ideas for posts and these updated every single month and they're all fully customizable and, and changeable. And you can go in and filter by different categories. So things like Let's say I want to look at home and interior related posts. And I have posts here that are ready to go. But of course, we can edit all of these too, which I'll show you in a second. Let's say I want to take a look at, um, I don't know, products for children. Let's see what comes up here. Or maybe a better one would be automotive. And we can see all of these posts that are related to, um, to this specific sector, right? Then we can also go to animated posts. So this will be different GIFs that are that are available, you can filter through these. Different articles, lots of different articles here you can search through based on the categories. So maybe let's go to like food articles, for example. Lots of stuff for you to quickly create content and, and share. So this is almost like, it's not full automation, but semi-automation semi if you think about it that way, quote posts, etc. And then when we find something that we like, so there's also the upcoming events that we have. Let's say we are, we, we want to do something with this post about June being Men's Health Month. Now we can actually just jump straight into Promo Republic. You should see this load up now. And using the inbuilt editor, we can edit this post itself. And this is where we start to see the Canva-like editor that so many of you will use when you're using tools like Canva and other, other platforms. Now, if you're managing multiple clients on the agency solution of Promo Republic, you can store all their different brand guidelines in here so you can quickly chop and change the text, put in what you want, change the image, change the background, do all that kind of stuff. And then once you've decided to do that, you can, um, you can actually use this post. And then this is one of the awesome things about the Promo Republic agency solution. I'm sure many of you are currently kind of creating your content calendars, 
in Google Drive or Google Sheets or Excel, whatever it might be, emailing it to your clients and waiting for their approval. They're having to go through things, check things, and it's a pretty clunky process. Now, Prima Republic has its own um, its own collaboration workflow, so you can do all that directly in the tool. So you can use this, propose this post for approval, and then click Schedule. And then what will happen is when you go to your calendar, we just leave, you'll see a number of options. So these posts where we can either approve and edit, our client will be notified that there's a new post for approval. And one of the really cool things about this, it's only available in the agency-specific solution, but you can also have the tool fully white-labeled, like you're seeing on the screen right now. So your agency, your clients even, will see that you have a fully white-labeled tool. They'll think your own tool, and their experience when operating with you on content is going to be so much higher, so much better quality, and uh, they're going to really see you in a very, very attractive light. So this is a couple of the really exciting and interesting features about the agency-specific solution, along with things like the um, the monitoring. So I can't show this in this demo account, unfortunately, but if any of you are managing, let's say, accounts for local businesses or any businesses in general, once you've spent time creating that content, the most important thing is then the community management, right? Seeing what people are saying about your brand, seeing what comments they're leaving, um, what questions they're asking, and responding back to them. And when you're managing multiple accounts for multiple clients, it can be very difficult to track all of those responses. Now, the monitoring pulls everything together all into one place so you can get live updates and mentions and comments on all of your branded accounts all into one place across all the different socials and you can respond to them directly uh, from this dashboard. So this is really, really powerful for community management. And those of you who are managing like local businesses too, I know that Google My Business is very, very important to those companies. You can monitor all Google My Business reviews and everything that comes through in here as well. So this is one, one of many things along with the reporting, the analytics where you can actually put together really nice PDF reports and stats for your clients. Um, and share them with the with the clients of yours. And then we also have this services add-on. So if any of you are struggling to create your own content or you want to outsource that content creation process, Promo Republic also have their own team in-house that can produce content for you. So um, they can produce content bundles like you see here where they'll actually create a number of templates for you. And then you can always use those templates in future in your account. So you can get them to create 20 different templates for a couple of clients, for example. Um, they also have managed services around uh, Facebook ads and Instagram ads too. Um, so all of this kind of stuff comes within the agency-specific solution. There are a number of other areas as well, but as I said to you all, I don't want to kind of turn this into a full cycle demo. I want to keep this webinar valuable and to the point. So we'll stop, we'll stop the screen share just there. If any of you do want to see have any questions or want to learn a bit more around the agency specific solution and you want to get access to a number of those awesome freebies that I mentioned earlier on uh, I'm going to share a button on the right now as I said there'll only be four or five calls available please let me know there should be a button now can one of you let me know that it works maybe check it go in and book a call and let me know that everything worked okay and um, if you need if you need any questions that's the place to go so um, I really would recommend that. It's not going to be like a hard sales call or anything like that. They're just going to answer your questions, see if they can support you, share a bit more information with you, give you a proper walkthrough, and let you kind of see how Promo Republic can help you scale and grow your agency business. If you have any questions for them around like the content creation service, the white labeling options, um, the, um, the client collaboration workflows, et cetera, and how that can help you, that's the place to, to do that. And of course, you'll get that discount too, as well as the other bits and pieces. Okay, so number five, this is something that a lot of us overlook as business owners, as agency owners, and that's actually just looking after yourself. This can be a huge kind of hack to better time management. Taking care of your mind, your body, through things like healthy eating, balancing with proper exercise, looking after your mental health too. All of these kind of things can really benefit the performance of your agency business as it continues to move forward and help you manage your time better. I find when I'm exercising at the gym regularly, when I'm eating well, when I'm looking after my mental health, that's when I perform best, when I'm most focused, when I can get the most stuff done within my business. And as many people know, like running a social media agency, an ads agency, it's, it's an endurance sport, right? It's, you're going to be traveling maybe late nights, early mornings, it can be stressful, losing clients, gaining clients. Exercising, eating well, looking after yourself helps you to go harder 
um, helps you work longer if you need to and bounce back much faster when you do have those challenges. So make sure, I know it's a very simple piece of advice, but make sure you're always, always looking after yourself because I think this is very, very important. Now, before we get to the q and I'm not going to spend a, a huge amount of time on this section because we only have another 10 minutes of time allotted for this, but um, I want to talk about some time-saving tools and resources that I'm using. So within my business, the two things that I use the most for saving time, I was trying to think about this, we use a number of different tools and solutions, but the things that are saving me the most time right now is, uh, is Calendly. If you're not using a tool like Calendly or You Can Book Me or any of those others available right now, but you're doing phone calls with clients, I really, really would recommend doing that to get rid of that back and forth via email. Like, Just send them your Calendly. They can book a time that works for them and that works for you. That saves me a ton of time and has got rid of a lot of back and forth on emails. Zapier is a tool that saves me a lot of time. So um, we use Zapier for a number of things. For example, when someone books a call with me on a specific link on Calendly where they want to talk about new business, where they want to talk about me potentially supporting them, um, Zapier automatically pulls all that data through into our CRM system, creates a new record, uh, creates a new opportunity within the CRM system and populates it with all of the data. That saves me a lot of time. Um, Zapier also helps us with a number of other kind of tasks and automations to help us save time within the business. Um, if any of you, or do any of you run ads agencies or any of you managing like significant spend in Google ads for people, Facebook ads for people? Because of course that's what we do, that's our number one focus, right? And I have found this tool, or discovered this tool recently called Optio, O-P-T-E-O. -E if any of you run ad agencies, I'd really, really recommend it, especially if you do Google ads. Um, so Optio supports me with finding optimization opportunities within our Google Ads accounts, things that the human eye might potentially miss sometimes, alerting us about increases in spending, in CPCs, et cetera, et cetera. That's another one. Um, something else that I'm really enjoying at the moment is a tool called Superhuman, which is helping me get to inbox zero every single day and manage my email inbox much faster. And of course, the most important thing for many of you is a tool like Promo Republic. I think it can save you a ton of time. When I was offering social media management to begin with, before I was using Promo Republic, I had a social media manager on my team, and um, we were doing what I mentioned earlier, using Canva to create content, and then downloading it to his computer. He was going into Hootsuite, uploading it into Hootsuite, and just switching to Promo Republic saved him six hours every single week, and that's six hours that I had an employee um, six hours I had back from the way so that he could work on other things, right? So um, any of you doing social media management, I really, really would recommend that you look into into starting to use the agency solution of Promo Republic. So Karen, the email thing that I'm using is called Superhuman. So superhuman.com. Um, it is a really great tool. It's by the people that that put together Reportive, if you ever used Reportive back in the day. Um, it's a closed, I think it's a closed beta at the moment for Superhuman. You need someone to refer you or you have to join a waiting list. Uh, but I would definitely recommend checking it out. Yeah, Zahid, so I'll just put all of the names of them in the uh, in the chat section now so that you can, um, you can do some research and take a look. So Calendly, Zapier, ClickUp we use for project management. If any of you run ad agencies for PPC, Optio, Superhuman for email. Yeah, so Superhuman is invite only. I was lucky enough to um, to get accepted into a few weeks ago, and it's really, really changed things up for me. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So one more thing, and then we'll jump to Q and A because I only have a few minutes before I have to um, wrap up. But I wanted to draw your attention to this. So anyone that's considering a social media management solution specifically for agencies, this is how Promo Republic stacks up against the competition. Um, as I said to you earlier, I've worked for some of the competition in the past too, so I have a lot of insight into this. And Promo Republic did a calculation for an agency that maybe manages 30 different social media accounts, have a few team members or contractors and clients who would like to access the tool. You want all those approval workflows, you want to monitor mentions and hashtags for your clients. Choosing Promo Republic could save you anywhere between $500 and $5,400 every single year over the competition. And you also get a special discount. Remember, too, you'll have access to a special discount if you use the call to action button that should still be on the screen right now. 
Um, so very, very cost-effective solution. I actually think it's very, very um, aggressively priced. I've told the team at Premier Republic before, I think they could definitely be charging more. Um, when I used to work at Hootsuite, if you wanted approval workflows, Hootsuite would cost you a minimum of $600 a month just for approval workflows. And the agency package for Premier Republic starts from $99. So that's something to bear in mind. I also want you to look at this monitoring section. You'll see Premier Republic is the only one here that has access to Google My Business. Um, which is really, really beneficial, and the only one that has this content library with over 100,000 ideas. A couple others have white labeling too, um, but you'll, you'll notice that Premier Republic stacks up very, very well against the others in the space. And it helps you grow your agency business by focusing on these three core pillars. So helping you create content faster, better, more effectively, helping you collaborate with your clients, and helping you report back to your clients too, because you know how important that is. Now, that's broken down into the graphics editor, which I showed you, the collaboration platform, which we touched on earlier on, as well as the customer business profile, so you can separate out all of your clients so they have all of their own profiles. It doesn't take you a ton of time to switch between them. You just click one button and you can switch between them, um, as well as everything else that I mentioned earlier on in today's webinar. So if you do want to find out more about that, I think there's 30 seconds left on the button and then it will be gone. So go ahead, schedule that call, get the opportunity for a discount, um, as well as all the other goodies and freebies that we mentioned. Uh, that is the end of today's webinar. So I have five minutes for Q&A if anybody has any questions. If you decide to leave us now, though, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you found this beneficial. I hope you found it useful and, and interesting. I really do appreciate your time. And I hope to see you again on the next webinar, which we I believe will be the same time next week. But just keep an eye on the website to, um, to find out updates about that. Julia, any questions about direct posting, etc. are best um, are best directed towards the primary public team on the chat on the website because I, uh, I don't have any exact dates I can give on that, unfortunately. So yeah, thank you, everyone. If you have any questions about time management, general agency stuff, um, Promo Republic, you're best to set up a call. But any other questions about agency-related stuff, please put them in the chat box. And if not, then I will... Um, I'll start to wrap things up. Chris, yep, I'm happy to send you a referral. I'll do that right now. Now, I don't actually, like, I don't get any kickback from Superhuman for making referrals, which is interesting. I thought they, they would do that. Um, it's just just the good feeling of helping someone else get this because, <laughs> because Superhuman really, really did help me to uh, like manage, my, manage my emails much, much better. So I will... Um, have no problems with referring a couple of you guys. Let me actually just see if I can do that now. And in the meantime, if anyone has any questions, please, please go ahead and um, and get them in. So I'm going to do a couple of referrals now. So I will refer Chris. Julian and Julia. Okay, so someone that said, I'm watching on Google Play and I don't get to see the button. So I will put the link in the chat box for you to schedule a call with the Premier Republic team now. If you take a look in the chat box now, I will do that. And for those people that put their email addresses in, I will um, I'll see if I can do that. Yeah, project management tool, we use ClickUp. OK, Chris, I've just sent the referral for you for superhuman I've also just sent one for Julia and I'll send one for Julian now Does anybody else have any other questions that they would like to ask? OK. 
Okay, so everybody who asked for superhuman referrals, I've I've introduced you all to the team. Uh, it looks like we don't have any other questions, so thank you. Thank you everyone who joined us. I hope you found it really, really useful. If for any reason the button didn't appear, if you were watching on the Google Play app, you should see the button to schedule a call with the Promo Republic team in the chat box right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap things up. So thank you everyone, and I will see you next week for the next webinar in the series.